I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm a The thing is, can I tell you something? The thing is, oh, wee oh, wee oh. I'm like, pardon? Like, where? Oh, wee oh, wee oh. How did you do that? You look great. Welcome back to another episode of Chit Chats with Miss. I'm so excited for you to be here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me. And my name is Melissa. And this is one of my series that I'm currently doing called Chit Chats with Miss, where I just come and just chat about my week, chat about important things that are happening. I tell a joke. I tell you what I'm listening to and what I'm watching right now this week. And I also end each episode with an affirmation at the end to set the intentions and to set your mind and get ready for the week ahead of you by having an affirmation. So welcome and let's begin today's episode. First of all, we need to put on this necklace. So let's do that first. It's so hard putting on necklaces by yourself, but let's see how we do. Here we go. This necklace, if you watched last week's episode, then you know my grandmother's currently in the hospital. She was diagnosed with a stroke. It is official. And this necklace is a blue charm. It's a necklace she has given every girl in our family. So all my cousins, all my aunts, and my brother's wife, and my cousin's wife so all the girls in our family got this blue necklace and this weekend we are rallying all together by wearing our blue, blue necklaces hoping and praying that she gets better so this necklace is so important to me and if you have something blue and you want to wear it for intentions for my grandma that would be amazing so this week was i know we're going to talk about halloween which was last week but i really want to talk about this so this was my very first Halloween here in Dubai and I had no idea what to expect. I wasn't sure if kids were gonna do trick or treating. I wasn't sure because I live in an apartment building and I've never lived in an apartment building before. At home in Canada, I live in a house in a neighborhood. So kids always come to our door. It's just how I know Halloween and trick or treating. So because I live in an apartment building and because I and new to Dubai, so I really had no clue what was gonna happen, but on Saturday night, so last Saturday, the doorbell rang and there was like, it was like ding, 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 and I was like, what is happening? So I went to the door and there was this little girl and a little boy, and she was holding a bag of candy and holding a five dirham bill, and she said, do you have any candy? And I was like, no, like I, I wasn't prepared because it was Saturday, I was not prepared for Halloween because it wasn't Halloween day. And so then I said, no, like, I'm so sorry. I don't have any candy. And then she's like, how about money? <laughs> so then I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like I have no cash. Um, and so then I was like, oh my gosh, so intimidated by this little girl because I had nothing for her. And she was just like, but it's Halloween. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like I wasn't prepared for Halloween today. I thought it was gonna be on Monday. <laughs> so I felt so bad. Anyways, so she finally left and I felt horrible because I had nothing for her, um, but she left. And then on Halloween day, so on Monday, I was in the elevator and there was this sign and it said, if you want to do Halloween tonight, decorate your door so the kids know to come to your door if you have candy. So I was so happy because now, okay, like now I understand um, today's officially Halloween and what's gonna happen. So I came home and I made this sign, which I'm so proud of myself for. See, so I have a pumpkin and a scary pumpkin. I have a really cute ghost who says boo. <laughs> I'm so proud of my son. <laughs> I put it on my door and I got some candy and I was ready for the kids. And so then one by one kids started to come and every time, so let's go back to the first kid. So the first kid came, I gave them two taco fires and they gave me a lollipop. And I was like, whoa, like, no, no, like <laughs> I'm supposed to give you candy. And they were like, no, no, that's for you. And I was like, wow, that is so nice. So then the next kid came and the same thing happened. I gave them two chocolate bars and they already in their hand had a lollipop 
um, ready to give me. And I was like, what is happening? Because in Canada, that is not how it goes. In Canada, kids come to the door, they say trick or treat, you give them the candy, they leave. They do not give you anything. So then the little girl came who came on Saturday night and I was so happy because I was able to finally give her something for Halloween and I give her her two chocolate bars and she gave me something back and I was like, no, no, like you don't have to give me anything. And she was like, yes, it's for you. So then she left um, and then kids continued to come and the same thing happened, which was so shocking for me because I was not prepared for that, but it was so sweet and so nice. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's just how they do Halloween here, but it's so cute um, and very thoughtful. You get the kids really don't need to do that. But anyways, the same little girl. So she had already come that day. She's the same girl that came on Saturday and she came back and she this time she gave me like a whole thing of cookies. I tried to give her candy because somebody came and knocked on my door. I was ready for the candy. She's like, no, no, like this is yours. And I was like, no, like you really don't need to give me anything. You already gave me a lollipop. And she was like, no, no, like this is for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, like no, like that's crazy. You don't need to give that to me. And she's like, yes, it's for you. So then in the pack, there was like, um, Snickers and I'm allergic to nuts. So I was like, hold on, like, let me give you all my Snickers because I had five left. So I made her take all my Snickers chocolate because she's just, she was just so cute and she definitely made an impact on me. Um, and, but the fact that she had come back to give me something more was like, I was like, oh my gosh, like you were so cute. It was really nice and really kind. That was my first experience here for Halloween. It was really sweet. I'm so happy that I was able to do Halloween. I just love being able to see the kids in their costumes and seeing them dressed up and it's just so sweet. My hair is so frizzy. Please don't mind my frizziness. I left it today. The thing is, can I tell you something? The thing is, Every time I watch TikToks or Instagram things, they always talk about their hair. They're like, oh, my hair looks so bad today. And I'm like, pardon? Like, where? I think it's so funny. So I'm really curious if people actually noticed my frizziness or it's just me. Because I think people notice their own flaws even though they don't, they don't need to. So, yeah, I'm curious. But I feel like my hair is super frizzy. But I don't want to be one of those people because every time someone comments on themselves on their TikToks, I'm like, man, like... Why, why did you do that? You look great. I've been going for a few walks. I have started going for walks and today I did a five kilometer walk, which was amazing. So I was very happy with that. And I'm just gonna continue to walk. There's so many parks around here where I live in Dubai and I love walking in the parks. I love the fact that I live with palm trees. It's so nice. So I just love right now adventuring out. This week I went to the expo here in Dubai. It was in a few months ago, but they still have a few pavilions open and it was amazing. First of all, there was not a lot of people there, which was amazing <laughs> um, because there was no lines and it was incredible, but it would have been really interesting to go there when it was alive. I think it was called like the World's Fair, which I've never heard of the World's Fair before, but um, the expo was here in Dubai. And one of the pavilions we went into, one was about forest and one was about um, water. And in one of them, it had like an interactive section where you could like pull a lever for a, a would you rather question. It's either would you rather this or would you rather that. And then you could see like what everybody else is saying too, based on your answer, like the percentage. So I thought it would be interesting to include a would you rather question in here not always would you rather but deep thought questions and you can put your answer in the comments for today's would you rather question it's going to be would you rather find true love in your life or land your dream job in your life and you can put your answer in the comments so this week the song that i've been loving is unholy i think it's called unholy by sam smith the song is never not in my head. It's always in my head, so I sing it all day long. Oh, we oh, we oh. Mama don't know, daddy's getting on at the body shop, doing something on holy. Oh, we oh, we oh. It's a super catchy song. The beat is awesome. I love Sam Smith. It's such a catchy song and it's so fun to sing. It's such a good song. My laundry's being super loud, so we're gonna take an apple juice break. Mm. It's like a little bottle.
This week for what I'm watching is, I'm still watching Chesapeake Shores, but I'm not very far um, since my last video, but I actually have started the series Squid Games on Netflix. I have never seen it before. I was really nervous that it was gonna be like gruesome and scary because I don't really like that kind of stuff, but it's actually a little bit gruesome. <laughs> it definitely is gruesome, but it's actually a really good show. And the thing that I really like about it is it's a Korean show. So obviously um, the characters' names are Korean. You read the subtitles and actually it's totally fine. But the thing that I really like about it, and maybe this was, um, for example, I don't know the technical terms, but maybe like a design feature or like the way they directed it, is each contestant has a number. And so when I talk about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love 001. Or I'm like, oh, four, five, six. <laughs> because I don't know their names, but I know their numbers. Um, so I just call them by their numbers when I talk about it. And it's actually pretty good. It's getting really interesting. We are on, I think the last, we just finished um, one of the games where they had to like hop. I'm not sure if you've ever seen it, but they had to like hop. Um, and they're left with three people. So it's very interesting. It's getting super interesting and I cannot wait to see what happens. The show overall is a little bit scary of the way, like if it was ever true, um, which I seriously hope this Squid Games would never be a true thing. But if it was ever true, it's definitely terrifying. Um, the fact that they are going to play a game for money, but people have to die. So for example, in the first episode, they, spoiler alert, if you wanna see it, I guess, um, but you are, they're playing kid games. So the first game is red light, green light. And for people who are caught um, moving when they're supposed to be standing still, they're shot dead. So then they wean people out by playing kid games by them dying, which is, terrifying and so sad but yeah so it's interesting but obviously it's a little bit gruesome but um overall it's actually a really good show one of the saddest things that i've come to realize is no one is ever going to believe in your dreams or believe in your goals or care about your dreams or your goals as much as you do and it's so sad. I love dreams. I love goals. I have a million goals and dreams. I have such a big vision for what I want for my life. And no matter how much I talk about it to other people, no one is ever going to care about your dreams and your goals as much as you do. And that is such a sad reality, but as soon as you come to terms with that, maybe you can let go of the fact that you want to please other people and you're looking for validation for your dreams and goals and to start. So. I'm giving you the validation to start your dreams and goals despite anybody else validating them or thinking they're good ideas. So just go ahead and do them. Like every other episode with Chit Chats with Miss, I love to end each episode with an affirmation for the week. I'm all about personal development. I think it's so important for your mental health, but also your everyday health, your whole life. I think it's so important to do self-care and do affirmations and set the intentions for the week and I think it's very important. So let's say our affirmation for the week. I'm allowed to think differently. I'm allowed to imagine something better. Let's say it together. I'm allowed to think differently. I'm allowed to imagine something better. Say it again. I'm allowed to think differently. I'm allowed to imagine something better. You are, you definitely, definitely are allowed to think differently and you want to imagine something better and you're allowed to follow your dreams. I hope you have an incredible week. I hope you set the intentions for your week ahead and I hope you take this affirmation into your week and implement it into your everyday life. So go chase your dreams and I cannot wait to meet you again on the next episode with Chit Chats with Miss. 
Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any episodes from me. I still have a challenge. I still would love to reach a thousand subscribers. So I'm getting there. And by you liking and subscribing to my channel, it will help me reach my goal. So I hope you have an incredible week and I will see you next week on the next episode of Chit Chats with Miss and everything else I post on my channel. I'm hoping to start posting twice a week one episode with chit chats with miss and then one episode on just something else uh, so stay tuned for once i start that up have a great week